Okay, this is a video on um, how to trade stocks that we had on the watch list. Uh, but in this case, specifically, if they fail at the opening, you know, below support. Uh, the question was um, the REVB we had on the watch list last night, and the support was 150 with targets 190 and 210. It opened and dropped below support. In this case, would you then set an alert for when it pops to 150? with anticipation to trade at 192.10, or will it have new support and resistance levels? So that's a very good question. Um, this was a, looks like it's a failed SPAC. Traded down to 87 cents, but yesterday had a big strong surge up to resistance around 215, um, and closed at the 165 level. So this, this morning, and then you can see here before the opening, it was quite strong. But here's what I said last night about this REVB. A low float failed SPAC. Uh, the stock traded down to 87. Today it reversed, surging to 210. Now 169. So that was last night when I wrote this, 169. Support 150. Trade back to 190 and 210. So we see this morning that it, it did, you know, start to surge up. But at the opening, it gets crushed. And it breaks down below support and now selling off. So normally when you have a you know a, a chart like this where the stock is strong the one day, now we do have an inside date today, but it's a bearish inside, it is selling off. Um, and, and and don't forget you also have to look at the overall market. The market itself is quite you know is, is soft. Uh, the spy is you know off a point or so. So uh, what happens here, it, we see that it fails. What's the volume? Uh, it has traded 2.5 million, but the other day, yesterday it traded you know, over 25 million shares. Today, only 2.5. Normally, it doesn't trade much, usually small range trader. So it, it looks like it was a one day wonder. It does sell off here. And so, are we, it, and it fails at support. So the question is sort of, you know, what do we do? Do we send an alert if it gets back through 150? Or do we look for new levels? And the answer to that question is you look for new levels. And in this case, this chart is not saying anything that would give you a reason to buy it. We can see here that uh, it, this, and we were just talking about moving averages, um, this 15 period really is, is holding, making resistance for it. But the 50, for sure, the 50 period, every time it gets up to it, it fails. It did get a bit through there, it fails, and it's failed. Now, if these cross and start to go, maybe there's a change in direction for it. But uh, here, was the, here was the support level right around 150. I, I wouldn't, well, okay, so you could set an alert here for 150, for sure. But the thing about it is that it has, you know, it's traded down to 130. That's going to be resistance for it. If it gets through there, you know, you could see it then maybe start to pop and change direction and look to enter it. But, you know, it's not something I'd watch. I, I would just, it's failed. You know, there's lots of stocks trading and doing well. The likelihood of this going again is, you know, slim to none. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you can set an alert, but you, you would want to set the, you know, it's going to have a lot of resistance before there. Um, you know, 140. 145, this 150, you know, 155. There's a lot of overhead for this stock now. And once they failed like that, all these people that were buying up here, uh, they were hoping just to get out of the stock. So even if it does get the 150, so what? You know, where is it going to go? It has so much overhead resistance for it. it it's going to struggle. So if it fails at the opening, typically I would just ignore it and you know, if it starts to go again, there'll be lots of people uh, maybe alerted for us. And they, they might be watching it or you or set an alert, you know, maybe here at 145 with a view that if it trades over 150, you could look to trade it long. So you want to reset the, you want to reset the support levels. Um, or well, you actually what you want to reset is the, the resistance levels because 150 is going to be resistance now because that was support. And we know that once a stock breaks down through support, that becomes resistance, and vice versa. Once a stock breaks through resistance, that now becomes support. So 
the upshot of this, you know, it's just a weak chart, no real follow through from yesterday. And you can set alerts, but set them, set the alerts at new resistance levels. Because then you can look at trading it. Okay, maybe if it gets to 140, maybe I can trade it back to 150 or 160. And not, you know, and not wait till 150 and, and miss that 10 cent or 15 cent move. So once it breaks down, set new support uh, resistance levels for it. When it crosses those levels, then look to see where that's going to trade to the initial support, uh, support level here at 150.